This is the Pennies on the Pound uh, market from Farmer Food Share. I've been working with them uh, this whole year after moving up from working at the farmer's market here in Carborough. Uh, the Pennies on the Pound market has been extremely rewarding and a lot of fun to really get to know the farmers really well and deliver food to nonprofits. Uh, really help them build capacity and have more healthy food for them. I really enjoyed the Bonner program this year because personally I've had a lot of room to grow and expand my interests, uh, especially starting my own programs with Farmer Food Share uh, and the IFC, so we're trying to start a fresh pantry program to increase fresh food. Um, really just came about of me being motivated after working here at the market and then moving up to the POP program, uh, trying to expand Farmer Food Share more and really trying to uh, build capacity for more fresh food for everyone. So it's a first year Bonner intern with Farmer Food Share. I've been working with the Carver Farmer's Market, where I collect food for the HRC and table. Um, I've really enjoyed it. It's a lot of fun. It's a really busy market, as you can see. It's really been cool getting to know the farmers and uh, just collect fresh food for people who need it. I work at the teen center. It's really fun and enjoyable. All the kids are awesome. They're all really funny, and the staff too. I've gotten to know them really well, especially. And I don't know. It's just a great place to be. And at five o'clock, we just chill out. We can play pool. We can play video games. Just talk and. Okay. Wait. <laughs> You have to do it on the seat, okay? I'm going to show it to you. Do you want to do it at the same time? The Bonner program really matched me up well here at the Teen Center. I feel like if I had a different work-study job or just went through another campus-wide group and was just going to, like, different places with different kids all the time, it wouldn't be... I wouldn't have as much as an impact as I have coming here every single day and being able to talk to the same kids every single day and see the same faces. This place has given me the freedom and responsibility to do what I think is good for the community and it allows me to be placed in order to do that. I see teens come in here and they need things that I needed two, three years ago. And they need things that I didn't need two, three years ago, but other teens do. And, it, and like finding and meeting those sort of like gaps. I really like that in general, I get to help a community with my own individual skills and talents that I'm good at. And that's what I really liked about working here is because once I'm here, I've been able to make actual, like, sustainable, realistic changes to the place here. Don't record that. <laughs> I don't know, I guess it wasn't what I expected, but it's turned out to be everything I expected and more, which I guess sounds pretty cliche, but it's true. Yeah, um, my first impression was, wow, there's a lot of kids here, need to work. Yeah, it's going to be tough, but it's a good tough, tough love. My favorite part of Hargraves would be um, after we do our homework help and, and feed the kids, we, we get to play a lot of games. And um, this year, uh, our new Bonner, Ed, uh, he's, he's really taken on the role of 
just playing with the kids. Um, he loses a lot, I guess, to make the kids feel better, but I just, I admire that about Ed and his his um, ability to, to be humble amongst these kids and, and not let them get the best of them. But yeah, playing with the kids, like basketball, football, whatever, that's probably my favorite part of Hargraves. Um, my favorite part of working at Hargraves is probably the beginning portion of the day when we help the kids with their homework. I think it's really awesome how we get to see how we actually make an impact on each kid when they're all ask when they get here and they unpack their things and they're all asking us to come over and look at their homework and help them. And I think it's really a rewarding helping the kids like see the light bulb click inside as we uh, help them finish their homework and like solve a problem that they were struggling with. To me, that's my favorite part. I think Freddie is great to work with. He's very smart, very, very eager to uh, work, to get the homework done with the kids. We have a lot of kids that look very forward to Eddie and Freddie showing up. They're very um, punctual. I really like High Graves Community Center and working with Eddie and Freddie because they're very awesome with the kids. They know things that we don't know. They're still in school, so they can help kids with some of the things that we that some of the people that haven't been here, mm -hmm. like uh, you know, simple math and stuff like that that we might not know how to do. They know how to do, and they're very well. They're, they're very um, humble guys. They're awesome, great. Oh, yeah, this one. Mm. Oh, I say that what I say. Mm. I come every week during the respite program, which is the Saturday program that runs from 1 to 5, which is where we're at right now, and we just play with the children, but during the weekdays, there's tutoring, and it really supports the children and gets them hopefully more interested in academics. The children we serve are, um, they will live in affordable housing or public housing, depending on what site you're at, and so this program gives them gives their parents an opportunity to like have a break and a I guess a respite. Family Resource Center has taught me a lot about like what it is like the common misconceptions about um, poverty and um, needing assistance. I really love the Bonner program because you can start your own top, um, programs like I started the music program and I can get other volunteers to come in and help with the program to get other people interested in what I'm interested in. Donations every week from Lowe's with the stuff that they can no longer sell. So I feel like this is really important because it does help them out financially and just gives them something to eat because we don't know when they're going to eat next depending on who they are. today and we provide emergency food aid to Carborough and Chapel Hill children who are food insecure and um, my first year at table I've been working with the snack chef program where we go to local schools and after school programs and just make healthy snacks with the kids and it's really fun and that's what I've been doing mostly. Here's Cameron. <laughs> so this year at table I've been able to step up a little bit in the leadership roles. Um, this semester specifically I've been able to secure a grant uh, from the Y Fund and we've been able to start making progress on our cooking classes for some of the families that we've been serving here at table. Um, the cooking classes are planned to happen at the end of April at the very latest so by the time that you're watching this video hopefully they've <laughs> happened um, and I've also been working a lot with office things such as thank you notes and other administrative tasks. Working with table and with Bonner we both have really enjoyed um, being at the Monday Night Bonner sessions because they've helped us develop our skills as well as learn about different people's viewpoints on a bunch of different um, topics and um, we've got to experience a bunch of different professors and speakers and it's been really great for us as individuals and working here at table. And Bonner has really helped us get involved in the community and we just love it. <laughs> we both love working at table and we hope you come see us in Carborough. My name is Catherine and I work with Blue Ribbon Mentor Advocate. One of my main projects this year has been getting um, 
snacks donated, and so I've been able to um, collaborate with a few different things. Table actually was able to donate snacks a few weeks ago for us. Um, I've been contacting some sororities, so that's been great. Um, and then we also have been getting monthly guests um, to come to Hargraves, and so it'll just be like different organizations at UNC. So we've had Sacrificial Poets come, um, we had Kamikaze, a dance group, come and perform, and they'll just talk to the students about um, how they got interested in this activity and then maybe how they um, balance that with schoolwork and how they got into college from the high school and um, what's sort of motivating them to continue on with college. And so it's been really great, it's been awesome to um, use my resources at UNC and to incorporate that um, into Blue Ribbon and Hargraves because I'm the only connection to UNC that they have. We have Apple's tutors, um, but they are just there once a week. They don't come as often as I do, and they don't have the connection with Blue Ribbon that I do. So that's been really fun. So a few weeks ago, um, two of the other Bonners, Jerome and Jason and I, who all work at Blue Ribbon, uh, applied for the Y Fund, um, which is uh, available through the Campus Y. And it um, is part of it is especially for Bonners, and so it's uh, this grant that is available through the Campus Y that can be used for any kind of project that helps out a community um, in some way, shape, or form with, uh, along with UNC. And so um, we applied for it because our middle school program that Jerome and Jason work for um, hadn't had a lot of the resources they need and a lot had changed since last year. And so they needed a lot of funding, otherwise they'd have to do it out of their own pockets. And so we made up a presentation, we wrote up a grant and were able to propose it to this committee and we received the grant which was really really cool so that's been a highlight of the year for sure.